friends, still joining you guys from Seattle. My flight doesn't leave till tonight. I got to meet up with Tom Jensen, who you guys know. Uh, he writes for Sports Illustrated and he's on my channel. Every Tuesday we just got excellent food. Um, forgot to get a photo, but he will be in the Bay Area, so we'll get a photo together. I think I'm, my dad doesn't know this yet, but I want to uh, hopefully get lunch or dinner or something with uh, my dad because he always tunes into our shows. But I'm here to bring you the latest 49ers injury updates. Kyle Shanahan did talk today. Wasn't sure if Kyle was going to end up talking on Monday because normally he talks the day after the game, but he's not technically required to talk until um, Monday since today was a short, or this week was a short week with it being on Thursday. Now they have 10 days to recover before they see the Chiefs. Um, right now, the breaking news, most important update is Jordan Mason has a sprained AC joint in his shoulder. They're hoping that he'll be able to play against the Chiefs, but it is not. They're not completely sure. Then uh, Matt Wright, Matthew Wright, the kicker, he was three for three on all of his field goals, also all of his extra points he got. He made a tackle at the end because special teams freaking sucked. Unfortunately, Brian Schneider was not fired yet, the special teams coordinator. But uh, Matthew Wright in, did great filling in for Jake Moody. He had to make a tackle at the very end on a Seahawks player, and he uh, popped out his shoulder. They were able to pop it back in, um, but they need X-ray or MRIs on that. Kyle Shanahan seemed less optimistic about Matthew Wright than he did Jordan Mason. He said that they had three, three other kickers in last week for tryouts, so they're probably going to bring them back just in case he cannot go against the Chiefs. Against the Chiefs, um, Aaron Banks, it was only, sorry, that was very loud. Aaron Banks, it was only um, cramps, so he's all good to go. So what's most important for us to keep an eye out is definitely Jordan Mason with the sprained AC joint in his shoulder. Um, we'll talk much more about that in my show later on this week, but I just wanted to give you guys all the updates. Um, I'm, I am, worried about Jordan Mason like apparently he was hurting all game and is like still hurting today now the adrenaline is worn off and it's it's most tender because the game just happened so hopefully with 10 days of recovery he'll be okay but I'm almost worried like if your shoulder is hurt and it doesn't it's not gonna have enough time to heal it'll just have enough time for him to maybe play through it but the second he's like tackled to the ground or he's hit if he's like carrying the ball and they hit him in the shoulder is that going to flare up again I really hope Jordan Mason is okay um, and able to go because I don't know how the 49ers beat the Chiefs without him he's been a heaven send since Christian McCaffrey has gone down by the way Christian McCaffrey they were able to um, or they are able to bring him up from IR because his IR stint is over but they are choosing not to um, it doesn't look good for Christian McCaffrey Adam Schefter and Ian Rappaport came out a couple weeks ago saying, oh, maybe maybe early November, then right before the game, someone said, well, the good news is he'll play sometime this season probably. So they keep moving the date back. Originally, they promised, you know, they were 100% sure he was going to be able to play as soon as the regular season game one started, and then it just kept getting pushed back. Um, they're not opening his IR window. Shanahan was quick to shut that down. So... They'll ask again next week after after the Chiefs game, but I'm looking till maybe playoffs if he can power through. If the 49ers make it to the playoffs, maybe Chris McCaffrey wants to come back and help the 49ers out in that. But it seems like the double Achilles tendonitis thing not doing well for George, or for Christian McCaffrey. Then um, Ricky Pearsall, he obviously got shot, and then he had he also had an AC shoulder injury. Um, prior to getting shot, but they are opening his IR window. So the thing with the practice window is they actually don't have to elevate him this week. And Kyle Shanahan kind of made it sound like they probably won't. Um, there is 10 days, but they're giving them this next three days off. So it'll be a normal week of practice wise for them to be able to evaluate Ricky. And I think they'll probably want to put him through one to even two. They have three weeks total until you have to send them back down of, um, practice that they're allowed to go through before they decide whether or not they actually want to elevate our player up off of IR and onto the starting um, roster, which I mean, Brandon Ayuk only got four targets for two catches. I don't know if they need to r rush rookie, Ricky back right now 
as far as wide receiver wise they're not really struggling maybe if he his speed is on display that could definitely be helpful like i said kyle shanahan said they are opening it this week so technically he could play against the chiefs but kyle said he didn't anticipate that that's what's going to happen they're probably going to try to put him through at least a full week of practice before elevating him after the chiefs for the cowboys and might even be waiting until after the Cowboys to have that bye week, bring him back after the bye week. That'll be his third week, which they're allowed to bring him up from. I know that stuff is confusing with IR. Basically, you're, you, when you're put on IR, you have to rest for four weeks minimum, and then you have a three-week open practice window where they're allowed to evaluate for you for three weeks before they decide to actually pull you up. And that week will start this week with Ricky. Um, so he has three weeks from now to be elevated, and I do think he'll be elevated. I'm just not 100% sure if it will be for the Chiefs, but if he's 100% ready to go and he can, I mean, that would be wonderful if his speed could be an asset and his shoulder and his shot wound and mental is all doing well, then congratulations to Ricky, and I'm going to be excited whenever he's on the field. Um, that's the 49ers first round pick this year, and all the other rookies are doing fantastic. Malik Mustafa, uh, Renardo Green, another not rookie but young guy, D winners. Great games. So anyways, that's my final update from Seattle. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. And those are all the latest game, day after game injury updates. Please like and subscribe and leave a YouTube comment if you can. Thank you. Bye.